Now this sum looks complicated. When such sum comes, just break it down to sin theta and cos theta. First, the first term, sin theta by sec theta plus tan theta minus 1. The remain, I mean the denominator can be broken down as 1 plus sin theta minus cos theta and the cos theta of this 1 by sec theta which is 1 by cos theta and tan theta 1 by uh, sin theta by cos theta becomes cos theta. Now, similarly the second one is break it up. Now what we get in the numerator is the sin theta cos theta for both these terms and the de de denominator 1 is 1 plus sin theta plus cos theta and the other is 1 actually minus of this term. If I treat this term as say A, so this term becomes minus A. So once that becomes, we can easily you know take this, we multiply this as if 1 is taken as B and this is B, so A plus B, A minus B, 1 is the whole, this is A square, this is, I mean this is B square minus A square and this is sin theta into cos theta and these things are taken common these cut out this cos theta cos theta cuts out sin theta sin theta cuts out one and one adds up to become two and this becomes two sin theta cos theta and this if we expand sin theta minus cos theta whole square becomes sin square theta plus cos square theta plus two sin theta cos theta now sin square theta plus cos square theta is one so one minus one is zero 